Good morning, guys. We are going to check our sets again today. I'm not sure how uh, filming's gonna go. It is so bloody windy out, so I might take some footage, but I don't think I will uh, be able to kind of talk you through any of it because it is unbelievably windy today. Fairly decent beaver. That's probably a big male out of the house. So I'm going to remake this and we'll go check the other one. All right, so we moved in here to the drowners. Uh, it looks like both traps are gone, so we'll pull them up and see if we've got anything. This will likely be a kit from this year. Perfect front foot catch on them. big traps to try to catch them on the ankle because then they can't pull out. So that's pretty decent. We've got three beaver out of here today. I'm going to get them out of the traps and remake the sets. Beaver tip of the week for you. Everyone knows the importance of a good safety hook on these uh, bigger traps or you know, body grips, the Connie bears, especially the 330s. Belial makes probably the best one. It stays where you put it, whether it's upside down or right side up, it always stays in place. On these older style traps, you slide around, you uh, put them there, you turn it upside down, they fall off. So they're not always user friendly. So here's a little tip to make them almost like the boil. Take a piece of wire. This is just a 16 gauge trapper's wire. Start by wrapping around one side of the spring. Bring your hook in. Now wrap it around the hook two or three times. And then down the spring again on the other side. Now, wherever you turn that hook, it's going to stay. If you put it in place here, tip the trap over, it doesn't fall off. Nice and easy little tip. Always remember use a safety hook or uh, catch. There's no worse thing to do than come home and tell your wife the only thing you caught on your trap line that day is yourself. 
on my way to check beaver sets and doing a little scouting. Mama got drawn for moose. So that's a pretty good sign. A few moose still hanging around. They're moving around a lot simply because of the ruts going on. We've got a whole bunch of deer. I'll see if I can get them in the camera. Where are they? There's deer there, and there's some more deer to the right. They're out early tonight. All right, guys, we're gonna go check this set that was here yesterday. It was so damn windy, I couldn't film, but there was nothing going on. Um, this creek is attached to the lake. And because it was so windy, this water dropped off, I would say two and a half feet maybe. My traps were way out of the water. But since the wind calmed down, the water flowed back in. So, MB750, still there. Might only be a solo beaver here. We'll go check this other one. I'm pretty sure I can see that trap in there yet. Yeah, I can see the the lock. So I'll leave it here for one more night and just see if we have nothing we're going to pull and move to a new location. All right, we're at that second set now. Let's check some traps here. That one fired. Likely from the wind and the trash that went in there probably fired that trigger. That one's still set. And that dollop of uh, caster is uh, still in the back. The water almost looks lower today for some reason. The bottom of that trap is completely out of the water and it wasn't, I didn't think, yesterday. Well, let's hope that these drowners connected on something. I don't know how many beaver are actually in here. But it's so calm today compared to yesterday. Try and set you guys up here. That uh, grounder is still there. And this one's still here. So we never connected on anything today. So I don't know if we've...
caught them all. I know the big family that was in here vacated. I don't know where they went. That's a fairly big house. It seemed like there was quite a few in here last year. The only deep water is right there. But that's all that they need, I guess. They don't need all of this to be flooded out and deep. Because that is definitely over my head. This water right here is over my head. So where we're going to trap next is kind of that direction up the creek probably about half a mile the farmer stopped me when I was out here yesterday and said he's got beaver back in there so that could be where these guys went because I know it's pretty deep over there but it's also pretty hard to trap so anyways we'll leave that other spot and we'll leave this spot for one more night because I should have had some kind of action on one of these sets if there are more beaver here. So we'll leave them till tomorrow. We'll pull everything. I won't have time to pull everything and reset tomorrow. So I'll have to set the next day and try and get after that house before the weekend. Because on the weekend, Mama Bear and I are going to go do some moose hunting. Hopefully we connect on a moose first or second day which would be all right but all right guys not much of a video today but as always guys thanks for tuning in i appreciate your guys support till the next time